to Brit Latrice and welcome back to my channel. I'm so excited to be here today. So what I have for you guys is my 2023 luxury wish list. Y'all, it's been forever since I filmed this, but I always like to create them because I think it's really important to just kind of like put into the universe what you are wanting. And ultimately, it just kind of keeps me grounded and gives me kind of a sense of direction because as you guys know, so many exciting like releases happen throughout the year and it just helps me kind of get a little bit less distracted or makes necessary swaps um, to just understand like what I truly want and what I could live without. So just one thing I wanted to know, these aren't necessarily items that I feel like I need to have this year, but they do give me something to strive for, which is really cool and I like that. So let's get started. Everything right now is in my agenda um and okay it's not really as organized as i want it to be all this time but i'm gonna try to organize it by brands so the first brand is cartier i've been eyeing the panther watch it is so beautiful so gorgeous i actually saw one at a decent again this watch is expensive but like a decent price point actually on valentine's day and I had just made another pretty large purchase, so I just did not feel comfortable getting it. But I'm like, oh my god, like, this is out here. And if I keep looking, I'm going to get one of these for the price that I'm willing to pay, which is not retail price. Okay. So, yeah, I'm excited. So for Hermes, I'm eyeing the Kelly 25 or 28. I'm gravitating towards the 25 a little more because I like smaller bags. The mini Kelly, of course, you guys know I went for that in Paris. So I think it absolutely makes sense that it would still remain on this list. And the Birkin 25. I think I could get with the Birkin 30 as well because it's actually a little bit more, I think, manageable for the type of bag it is. Um... But for these specifically, I would want them in neutral colors. I am gravitating towards like the creams, the browns, and the black. So specifically for the cream, I'm thinking like Cray. But for the browns, I think Hermes has like a really rich like color palette of browns. I've seen a lot of brulee vintage and I'm like, oh my god, like those are gorgeous. So um of course natural is really nice gold is of course like iconic i think there's plenty of beautiful colors that you could get within the hermes ecosystem so i'm not too married to any specifically but i do know they all would need to have like either gold or rose gold hardware because that's just what i specifically really like and gravitate towards so yeah I think of course you know with that brand specifically if you do want to purchase from store you got to be a little bit open-minded um however I know if I like <laughs> stick to my wits um I'll definitely get what I want so I'm very excited about that so the next brand is Celine I wrote down the Celine Rumi or Romy um I do not know what it's technically called since I actually wrote this list they actually have two sizes now I love the smaller one, but the bigger one is really nice too. I just like a, like that classic hobo style look. But what's weird is that when I tried it on in Paris, I didn't think that the drop from the shoulder was long enough. So I'm curious if I will have changed my mind or if the bigger one has like a, a larger drop. So if you wear something oversized like I currently have on now or a coat with like a drop shoulder that has like pretty large sleeves, I'm just kind of curious if I think it will be functional. That's kind of like what I did not love last time. The Celine Triumph Belt, probably in the small or medium size, um, but I'm also, I put a question mark by that one because I'm not too married to designer belts per se, it never really happened, but I do think that one is nice. It's very minimal, it's very clean, and it's very much like one of those, if you know that like you know emblem you know um so it's not too too flashy and i've been like really not wanting to overdo it on designer logos even though i love me a logo <laughs> um so yeah and then the last thing are celine sunglasses they're called the trium four and i really really wanted them in paris and i am kicking myself for not getting them guys I had an Hermes appointment coming up, so I was trying to like save just in case it worked at an Hermes and then I wouldn't feel like I overdid it anywhere else. But 
honestly, with the price difference um, in Europe, with US when it comes to Celine, it just, it was a no brainer. I just ultimately went for the oval glasses because I've never had anything like those. Whereas like the square ones, I'm like, yeah, I, I have like a couple things like that. Those aren't like hard to find, but honestly, I don't have a pair of black sunglasses and I just, I've been kicking myself since leaving Paris and not picking those up. So more to come on that. Oh, one more thing for Celine. The Cabas drawstring toe, I think it's really nice. Um, I like it in the color black. I think it's just really gorgeous. It's simple. It's like one of the better totes that I've seen in a while. And if I were to carry a tote, which is usually kind of unlikely, um, that would be it. So we'll see. So the next brand I have is Loewe. I have really been getting into this brand a lot. I think they have such beautiful items. Like it is so minimal. It is so nice. The quality is gorgeous. I like the puzzle bag. I think that's a really, really beautiful bag. I do need to do a little bit more research about it, but from Lueve, that is on my list. And I would like a pair of their sunglasses. I think they make the coolest, most fun sunglasses. Like over the past few years, I've seen the most fun sunglasses like come from them. So definitely something I would be open to trying in the future. Okay guys, we're getting down to the last brands. So Fendi, I would like the baguette. But guys, I have struggled to decide which baguette is best for me. There's so many choices and uh, like I get a little bit overwhelmed by them in a good way, but I get overwhelmed. So the sequin ones, I love those, but those don't seem like a good first baguette for me. Um, also, I really like the leather ones, but Sometimes the colors aren't quite what I'm looking for at that season. The Tiffany's one was gorgeous, but if I'm really staying true to myself, I'm really not a sterling silver type of gal, so I did have to kind of reel it in there. And even though Tiffany blue is a gorgeous color, I think I've mentioned this before, it doesn't seem for me a color that is constant in my wardrobe. I would definitely like have to plan around it a little bit harder than I would like to, so. More to come. I will find the perfect baguette, preferably vintage, but the new ones are gorgeous too. So we'll see. Maybe I'll like get fun with the baguettes and step out and like think about color. But I do think my collection would need to like have its classics kind of like locked and loaded um, before I stepped into that side of things. So we'll see we'll see i'm excited i could see myself with a little sequin one loving life you know and the last brand that i have is chanel most of it is going to be vintage i just am much more attracted to the vintage pieces of chanel than like your more recent pieces so that's just my preference and i have a specific price point that i'm willing to pay for all of this despite all of these like crazy price increases so that's just what it is period okay <laughs> So I would say the only more recent piece that I have is I like the Chanel mini with the top handle. I think those are so cute. I would love to have that in a fun color, but I of course would probably naturally just get like a black or something really neutral. I think those are really cute and I do think because they look so much like the classic flaps, those are really fun, like very functional thing. I don't remember if now the um the strap is removable or not because if it's not then I think I would be okay but we'll see and then the other thing that I would consider um with everything going on are Chanel seasonal pieces I think those are pieces that are really fun um they're one of a kind they tend to be unique and they don't tend to cost as much as the classics so well if they're really special and like kind of hand embroidered and have a lot of specific details they are but it kind of varies like you know that pearl one with the pearls all over that everybody like that was a seasonal piece and so was the heart bag that everybody really liked so if they had something that i felt was in a like a price range that i felt okay with then i would consider going for a seasonal piece still so the rest are vintage because i mean like you know me. The first thing is a Chanel black classic flap in a medium size with caviar 24 karat gold hardware with a black interior. It would need to have its accessories and it would again need to be a price that I was willing to pay. But yeah, I love those. I came really close to getting one, but I ended up 
deciding against it because sometimes with the um, classic flaps, the um, turn lock, so once you lift up the flap, that can tarnish and it was a little bit tarnished and I did try to wipe it off with a cloth but it just didn't work and I was like, you know what, I'll find one that's not tarnished. <laughs> it is what it is. Um, a Chanel Diana. I do like the Dianas in a small size. They're just super cute to me. They're super classic. Um, yeah, I think those are really nice to have. I don't know why I wrote this, but I put something really rare. <laughs> I think Chanel has a number of rare pieces and sometimes you could get your hands on them for a little of nothing. And sometimes you gotta pay like these crazy premiums. So if I were able to get what I would consider a Chanel rare piece, I would go for it. And um, I think it would be fun to have something a little bit more rare, a little bit more unique, a little bit less functional um, as a part of the collection. Um, I also put vintage Chanel sunglasses. I've bought so many pairs of these y'all and none of them have worked out so far. So I'm going to keep going and maybe I'll find some. If I don't, that's okay too. And then I also have Chanel costume jewelry. I like it as you guys know i won't be getting anything else that has the crystals or pearls on it but i do think there are still really cool vintage pieces that are just so like bold and gold and gorgeous that could be a great piece um within my personal collection so all right so that's everything for chanel and then i also have a couple honorable mentions that definitely need to be made so a tennis bracelet, because I'm kind of gravitating towards fine jewelry, I think that would be such a beautiful piece to have in my collection. I am not married to a specific brand for this. So if I just saw something where I felt like the quality fit my standard, then I would just go for it. I don't really care. It doesn't have to have like a big, flashy, well-known brand associated with it. I have really been liking this Prada bag. I always forget the name of it, so I will pop a picture up of that too. But I think it's really nice. I've been in the shoulder bags lately. I do need to like simmer down because you know, when you're in the one thing, you like you like all the things of it, or I do. So would definitely consider that because it's gorgeous in my opinion. But I do want to see like how big it would actually be. It's something I probably need to play with. All right, I put down a Prada puffer. I really like it. But actually, guys, I would be open to like um, a really nice Celine coat as well. So I'm kind of open, but I just want like a like, you know, I want to get like a ready to wear luxury coat. I think this is going to be the year that I slowly start to get into ready to wear. And of course, Bottega. Since I purchased my mini Jody, I really like it. And I would like a bigger Jody because it's just so such a comfortable, easy bag. So not a priority, but something that I think would be worth getting eventually. Guys, we made it to the end. That is everything I have for you guys today. Wow. Let me know if there's anything that was on here that you guys are eyeing as well, or if you own any of those things. I always love to hear what you guys have to say. I always learn so much from this community. Um, so yeah, and as always, if you enjoyed this video, please make sure to like, comment, subscribe, and hit that bell for notifications each time I upload. I'll talk to you later. Bye.